Good afternoon, everybody. It is lunchtime. Mr. Man's eating his lunch. He wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is it good? It's good. Yeah. yeah. It is. He just I woke up from his nap, too. Oh, you want some milk? Okay. Okay. He just woke up from his nap. He hasn't been uh, taking a morning nap every single day, but this morning he woke up pretty early, so he was ready for one. Around 10 o'clock, he took about a two hour, a little over a two hour nap. Sissy and Jonah wanted noodles. They're over there getting all that prepared. And the rest of us are having leftovers from breakfast. So this morning I made the big biscuit buffet. Y'all saw that yesterday. So we still have country ham left, bacon left, biscuits left. So the rest of us are gonna be having that, but I think I am gonna make a Dutch baby pancake to go with it because I've been really wanting a Dutch baby. A long time ago I made one and I think that the recipe I used called it something else. But I thought I would make one to go with lunch since we're having kind of a breakfast lunch. Well, some of us. I thought it would be good to go with it. I'm going to make a gingerbread one. We're just going to use that gingerbread spice we made the other day and make a gingerbread Dutch baby. Assistant Jonah is helping with the egg cracking. <laughs> It's fine. That's messed up. Just, there you go. <laughs> Half a cup of milk. We're just gonna whisk these together and I'm gonna get two tablespoons of butter in my iron skillet over here on the stove top. I'm just gonna be letting that melt over here. And I have the oven preheated to 400. Three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour. A tablespoon of sugar. fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm going to put half a teaspoon of the gingerbread spice. Mix that up. Okay, butter's melted over here, so I'm just moving it around, getting it all up on the sides. We're going to pour this extra butter into the batter, and now we pour the batter in here. And it's going in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. we finished eating the gingerbread Dutch baby was very good that was just enough of the gingerbread spice we still have two biscuits left so we're gonna save those save the Dutch baby I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then me and Manly are gonna go outside we'll go ahead and let the chickens out so they can be out for a few hours before it gets dark the kids still have some schoolwork to finish up so we'll let them finish that and we'll go let the chickens out that fun? You like the sound of the crunchy leaves? Yeah. I'm going home. You want to go home? Okay. You, you want to let the chickens out first? Okay. Let them out and then we'll go back to the house. <laughs> He's done with this today. <laughs> He's like, y'all better hurry up or you ain't getting out today. Oh, am I quack quack? Me quack quack. Oh, you're a quack quack. quack. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, baby quack quack. Oh, you're a baby quack quack. Hi, baby bar. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get supper started now. Tonight, we're going to make that chili that we made. I think it was about a month ago when we made this chili. I think I'm just gonna let this simmer on the stove top because it needs to go in the slow cooker for four to six hours. And I'm starting it a little late, so I think I'll just do it on the stove top. As long as it has a couple of hours to simmer there, it'll be fine. 
Yeah, you fed them, didn't you? We got them some feed, didn't we? Yeah. I'm gonna do it a little different this time. I'm gonna use some of these sweet orange and yellow peppers instead of the green bell pepper because we already used the green bell peppers that I bought, that's why. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the peppers and onions chopped up and cook them in here with the ground beef since I'm gonna be doing this one on the stove top. But if y'all wanna see the slow cooker way, I'll link that video down below. I'm gonna use fresh garlic this time too. These peppers are not hot, so I'm not even gonna worry about taking seeds or anything like that out. They're, they're sweet peppers. Buck a little bit. Okay. Woo! Ooh, hang on him, cowboy. Riding him. Hey, my bull. Woo! Bull cowboy. Oh, he's the a bull cowboy. A cowboy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you a cowboy? I'm a cowboy. You a cowboy. <laughs> Yeah, the bull's a cowboy too. Okay. Bull bear. That bull's got a flat down there. You done? At the bull. He right. did good. He stayed on eight seconds, possibly twelve That's or fifteen. <laughs> Look at it first and see where I'm gonna throw it, and then I'm gonna look over at Mama, just like yesterday. I'm magic. I rubbed the whole thing. Here he goes. kitchen is clean it is smelling good in here I've been just leaving out my iron skillet because I use it so much I just clean it up and leave it out over here it smells so good in here because I put in a new wallflower in my little pumpkin truck here this one I'm pretty sure is frosted cranberry I put it in here right before we went outside earlier and when we came in I was like what is that smell manly wants the truck it smells Christmassy Christmas in a pumpkin truck he's going to get his truck now but yeah, it smells really good in here. And I haven't even been to Bath & Body Works, I don't think, since they put out their Christmas stuff. I don't think I have. I ordered that stuff online. Anyway, the frosted cranberry, it smells good. So I'm gonna go finish getting mainly ready for bed. Then I'm gonna get ready for bed. And then I'm gonna be working on a meal plan and holiday plans. It's gonna be fun. I have to find my planner first though for that. There it is. Thank you, Jonah. Look at the December cover. Old Christmas tree and it's got the truck with the tree. What? So cute. I got this at the Simply Southern outlet store. I need to go see if they have one for next year. It was on clearance when I got it, I think for $9. Nice fresh planner pages about to be filled in. 